Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And in the last episode, we managed to take this little base here. And in the in-between, I have plugged in the giant rover, which I believe I'm going to call the Mastodon. Reading through some of the comments, I spotted that one and I really liked it, so I'm going to go with it. But we plugged it in, we've slurped out all of their wonderful resources, all of the power from their batteries, and all of their hydrogen, because now we have four hydrogen tanks that each have 25% of them, and that is absolutely impressive. There is a ton of power there, and if we were to turn on, say, one of our engines here, and look at those tanks, how slow that's draining. Like, we have power for days now, all saved up in these four tanks. And we haven't even filled them yet. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, and then look at the batteries. Oh, God, I gotta look at the batteries. They're so, they're getting so full. Oh, there's three lights on them. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I, like, Back when I was playing in, like, Season 2, when I have this giant base on Earth, and I had, like, a hundred of these batteries all full, and I was like, eh, whatever. Like, and now I have six batteries that are 75% full, and I am positively giddy. This is what one times inventory space will do to you. <laughs> but beyond that, I, there's not really much else I need to do at this stage. I'm not gonna really cut it down because I don't feel like there'd be a lot of time that I want to spend doing it. Uh, I have, you know, there was the question of whether or not I wanted to salvage this, as in slice it off and take it with me and advance weld it to there. I'm still flip-flopping on that because it's 15 medical components. And we will get back some medical component scrap. And if I'm not mistaken, is there any medical component scrap here? Ah, there is some medical scrap. Because this is where I uh, cut down those, those pods that I had. If I stick those back into the cargo container, and get that medical component scrap working up. I, I wonder if I will have a enough silver if I cut it down. And I'm not sure. Because as of right now, I have put all the silver in one spot. I have 50 silver. And in order to build what I need to build, I put an assembler on the rover, like on the Mastodon now. I need 6.67 and I need 15. So running the numbers, that's about 100. About 100 silver in order to make that many medical components. And I think that if I already have half of it, I will get enough if I just cut this down instead of having to salvage the whole thing. Because that saves me having to build multiple pistons and a landing gear to carry it and then having to spend an entire episode pretty much on just moving this medical room. And we need to get on with going. So we're just going to cut it down. You know, just keep depositing our stuff here. Inventory. We'll transfer it all over. Make sure we grab everything before we drive away. But the refineries here, which I believe are... No, they don't have any... Like, what do they, what do they have for, for stuff on the back of them? They don't have any upgrades. But we should, I hope, get an, enough silver. So those refineries did their work. And we can get that silver in there. And we got 103. 
So I believe we can make the 15 medical components. So it would be 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15. We need 100 medical components. We can make a medical room on the rover, on the Mastodon. No worries. Excellent. Excellent. So now I don't need anything else from this base. I mean, I guess some reactor components. Do I really need reactor components? What do they even take? It's just... Oh, oh, reactor components take silver. Oh, I should take you. Although I, you know, I've, I could have salvaged this and done all that kind of stuff. I am lazy and I don't want to spend hours here. You know, moving blocks by piston and salvaging them up. This is good enough. Get all those reactor components, get all that silver, and I think we're good. I believe I can also cut this down because we're not going to need that anymore. Yeah, sure, you can just <laughs> you can just tumble down there. Uh, eventually, I will. I'll probably still need to get access up there for various things, so I will keep this piece of access here temporarily so that I can, uh, you know, access this, and I'll probably make this like a, a maintenance level up here, probably more with catwalk instead of full block. But let me just go and make sure that we've slurped everything off the base. And I know that sounds weird, but I like saying it, and I'm not going to stop saying it. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is in the assembler. Medical components there. All of that silver. Another 86. Mmm, delicious. And basic refinery. That's all on the bison. Other than that, the enemy base is empty and I have a whole bunch of tools and I need to process down although I do have new rifles which is quite nice and I've got one of each on me okay I can disconnect since I don't know which one it is I'll come up here and uh, I'll toggle this one off there we go this base still has its batteries on and it has solar panels so this base will I mean, it's not going to be using pretty much any power, and it has its solar panels, so that base will still have some power in the future. Other than that, I have changed up my wheel settings, and set it so that only my front is turning, which I'm hoping is going to uh, mean that I've got a little bit better control. Also massively increased my friction, and the amount of power I have to my wheels. So this thing is now relatively uh, responsive. Look at that, look at those wheels spin. So I put out a, uh, a poll through the YouTube uh, like community page or whatever it is. I, I Honestly, the first time I've actually used it, so I I wasn't really sure what I was doing. But I asked, which way do you want to go? We need to get over this mountain somehow. We can either go left, go around the mountain and drive through a desert. We can go over the mountain, navigating the cliffs. Or we can go to the right. And we have to navigate this canyon here. Uh, nickel. Do I need nickel? That is a very good question. Nickel, 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 nickel. Nickel. Nickel? Eh, I got 1.6 thousand. Not really. There's cobalt and silicon. Nickel. Oh, these things. I should be marking these though. Right? Right? I should be. It's part of my thing to scout. But anyway, I'll mark these as I, as I ramble about the YouTube poll thing that I did. The vast majority of you, it seems, want me to go to the right and build a bridge. 
So that is what we're going to do. We are going to build a bridge to get across there. Park up. GPS. Copy. Paste. Easy peasy. Now. There is the idea of having like a, a, a bridge built into the rover in a sense. Where it like extendos a bridge and then you drive across it. Then it picks the bridge back up. And then you're like, ha ha. And that is awesome. I wish I could do that. I have no idea how I would. I would probably cause myself to uh, explode. There's no nickel here, just cobalt silk. Okay, there we go. So I don't think that that's going to work. What's probably going to work is just building a bridge. Just a static grid of iron. Now, there is a question of whether or not I make it like a full size bridge, as in my entire width. Although, I think I might be able to get away with only doing uh, like, a, like two beams across, essentially. Just have my tires aligned and then drive across it with just two little thin strips of, of, of armor making the bridge kind of like I'm driving on rails. And that will save me a bunch of iron and also be kind of cool. You got to mark up the cobalt. Now, I'm not sure if I should be crossing here or down further because know which is going to be the easier drive this this side looks okay it kind of looks like there's the canyon cuts back to the right up up there so we might have to get over prior to that but i think we can go a bit further here without needing to get across onto the other side yet and our suspension is still doing good. We still got plenty of of clearance. Our turning seems to be doing well, and this thing is much more responsive compared to the last time we were driving it. And we get the silicone and get that marked up. So many wonderful things to mark. Uh, I think it might be a good opportunity here for me to park and see what is going on. Yeah, let's send up the scout drone here. Uh, you are up there. I need to get to you to turn your battery on, which is why I left this kind of stuff here. Get your scout battery on, and let's remote access you. How are we doing? All of our stuff are on, we're good, we just need to unlock. Yep. And we are good to go look around. Make sure that our antenna is good to 5k. And let's go see what's up. So... Yeah, I'd have to go back to the right there a little bit. Although I can go that direction. But the canyons get way worse on that side. Okay. Wait, is this another... Uh, I think this might be another one of those... Alluvial fans. Yeah, this looks like the mouth of a river. Because this canyon would have been the river. You can see the sunny sodal... Sunny Sodal? I can't remember the, the pronunciation of that. Um, but basically rivers that go through flat areas will make uh, wide turns and eventually make um, oxbow lakes. And looks like this was in the, the process of just about to make an oxbow lake here as it would have started to cut through this area here before it, uh, you know, the planet dried up. But anyway, geological lesson aside, uh, it looks like 
if we get a bit higher here and start looking around, it looks like that is a nice low area there, but really rough. So I don't know if, I don't think I want to go down in there yet. Make sure I don't get too far from the bison here, or the mastodon. If I go to the right, uh, I'm still going to have to somewhat cross the mountain. That pass there is looking like the best pass possible. Uh, I got 30 minute, 30 minutes, no, an hour of flight time. Let's go check it out. Because I'm thinking going down there is probably too rough and annoying. And how are we from the two kilometers away? Okay. I think I can get to this pass here without uh, getting outside of my range and losing this thing. But we should we should start to stop up now. I won't go too far. So it looks like I could get over right here. Yeah, that looks like a nice and decent drive. So essentially, right where I am right now, I need just to bridge straight over, and then come straight over right here, cut down to the right, and then proceed on ooh, towards that next mountain. Okay. That is the goal. Let's head back and build a bridge. Okay. All parked back up. I don't think it's coming down, but don't want to deal with it. It's too far in the opposite direction for what I'm dealing with right now. So we need to pull up right to the edge of this cliff. And it looks like I've kind of got like a straight shot here to just go right to the other side, right here. Right? If I just continue going forward, I'll reach the other side. Okay. So... What I believe I should do is we'll deploy the bison, we'll take it down because it can navigate down into there, and I can get to the other side, and we can start to build up the bridge lining up with my wheels here, and it'll be great. So we can go uh, cargo and medium cargo container. Just fill it with uh, steel plate, and we'll launch the bison with that. Reverse. And unlock those hinges, and send it down. We'll turn you... Oh wait, I can just un unhook from the bison itself. Well, stay bison. We first need to uh, get this nicely extended, which I still need to finish building up these uh, catwalks here. Ah, eventually. I will do it eventually. All right, now that you're down, we can, we can hop down. And uh, get this nicely positioned against the ground here. Three meters down? Might need a bit more. I should probably set this up with like a sensor to do this correctly. So it always just extends just enough to touch the ground. But I think maybe five meters is good. What is that? It's still going a bit more. 5.5 I wonder, would the bison be able to handle that? Ah, there you go. See how everything started to lift up a little bit? It's pressing against the ground, so that way it's touching. Yeah, there we go. That's good. You're ready to uh, rumble, bison. Pull on out of there. 
then we'll reactivate all of our programs here. And I remember somebody saying in one of the comments that I need to like put in on the driver assist uh, not to check for something so that it doesn't run when I'm in the big rover. Oh, I gotta I gotta reset up my driver assist scripts on both the bison and the master down here so that they are working in tandem and not conflicting with each other essentially. But I will do that. Do, 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 do. Boom. Boom. Oh! Beautiful launch. Bible. We got the bison. It's free. So the Big question. Oh, I can, I can drive under here? I can drive under here. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Drive under my own, uh, my own rover. We need to align this. So let's go grab some steel plate. And we're going to need, what, two blocks wide at least for these things to go on? Preferably th three blocks wide, it seems. Two blocks wide at least. And for the positioning here, we kind of need to... Um, okay, we definitely need it to be flat. And then right after that, we need to aim it at that direction and then have it at the right elevation. Oh... Okay, that is not the right grid. That's there. Because then I'll uh, come down to it and look. Uh, and if I look sort of like a along the top of this, I can feel that this is going to get over to the other side and then I'm going to be in the air and I'm going to have to ramp down. <sighs> Which would really really suck to do so that's the that's my alignment issue is I've got to align something that will be essentially at that same height so I think it would probably be better if I went over to that side and then started coming over to here because this is obviously the higher side that is obviously what I need to do uh, can the bison take this uh, it's smooth, and I can just go down it with full brake. Uh, I, I don't want to attempt that. That seems a little, a little sus. How am I going to get down here? Is a good question. Man, if I was still like just using the bison would not even be thinking about building a bridge or anything here. Uh, should we just drive around this somewhere? There's got to be somewhere around here where it's gentle enough that I should be able to make it down without exploding. Uh, oh, and I have, I have water issues. Do I not have any water in any of my storage here on the bison? Oh, I do. There we go. I do have water on me. Alright, let me find my way across here. I'll be right back. Okay. Got to the other side. We can line ourselves up with one of the tire sets. Go to the height of land here. It's about, say, here. And if we place our block, make sure we are gravity aligned. Very good. Aim in that direction. Sink it into the train a little bit. And... There we go. So then this needs to be three wide. At minimum, in order for this tire to fit. And now what we have to do is just extend this all the way out. Don't need that thing. Now, I'm, I am super tempted, ah, 
I'm super tempted to not build these up. And I'm afraid of what that would do. Because these have no integrity. So any amount of damage would kill it. And these things would break. So essentially, I could not at all cause any damage to the bridge for me to get across. But if I built this up, I would just basically use up all of my iron that I have. So it's going to be that, uh, that catch-22, <laughs> whether or not I want to build them up or not. Uh, but thankfully, these are a bit easier to... I say that as I'm struggling to do it. A uh, bit easier to build out, because you can stand on one and aim onto another one of them. But the bridge is getting placed. Now, I, I suppose what I could do here is I could very quickly make myself a projector and place a projector on this grid so that I can project out a, a bridge for myself and then just give it a tap with the welder. Use up some materials. I don't know. But yeah, this is going to take me a while <laughs> to place all these blocks out. <sighs> the things I do for your guys' entertainment. And I have to do this again coming back at the right distance apart for the other wheel, too. And then line myself up with it. Because if I steer left or right as I'm going across this bridge, I will fall off. And then have it so that I don't damage the bridge at all in order for it not to essentially explode on me. Uh, now, something I could do, and it would save some materials, is I could just use refineries. Because they are a larger block, I can just, like, place a refinery, and that gives me a larger physical block than this armor. So I could use refineries, essentially placing them end, 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 end all the way across. God, I can't even see the Mastodon from here. I know it's there. I know it's there, but it's just obscure. But I kind of feel like the armor block here is a bit better. I can do 123 more. Because if I break one in the middle the whole thing doesn't fall. You know what I mean? Like, there's some redundancy when having all of these small blocks. A couple can break, and the grid won't fail. Which makes me happy. But I think <laughs> you guys will not want to watch me place the rest of these. So I'll be <laughs> right back. Oh, there we go. There is the first leg of it. Now we need to extend it this way. Some amount. And I need to go and align this to that. So that I can know. Oh, wait. I can just figure out how many blocks apart it'll be here. So if that's one, two, three, this would be four, five. Uh, so wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 blocks in the middle. And then another 3 on the other side. So, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so this is where the next... Uh, next track of this bridge will be. Mm, just like so. 
Oh man. <laughs> and now to place the blocks going back, which for the at least for the beginning is quite easy because I can just start like this and at least place out one line before I am too low into the canyon to do that. And yeah, it speeds up life a tiny bit by allowing me to do this. Yay, that was easy. Ah, but now to work my way back to the bison. You know, I actually liked having the uh, storm here, because now I can't... I couldn't see the bottom. But now that I can, I don't want to see the bottom. It's too tall. What am I doing? I'm standing off the edge of this thing as I'm slowly trying to build it outwards. Oh, God. What am I doing? Probably need to go get some more... 94 left. I got a decent amount. You can see one of the blocks I had misplaced and just placed it in midair and then it fell. <laughs> ah, we're so close! 128 meters to the bison. We're gonna get this done. And with that... We are a cross, and a little bit of a uh, a half block fall off here at the very end. That's nothing. The if the mastodon can't handle that, then you know it's got issues. But we'll do a little stress test here. Jump ourselves into the bison. Oh god, that bridge looks sketch. So sketch. And we'll just ever so slowly, I believe the bison is exactly three blocks wide. So we should be able to just drive across here with no issues. We'll just take it nice and slow. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a tight rope. Oh, that's that is screenshot material there. Mm. Oh yeah, that's some screenshot material. You're seeing the, the YouTuber process live. Oh beautiful. Excellent. Yeah, one of these frames will be the screenshot for the thumbnail. Oh, but this is looking good. I mean, it's going to hold the weight. It's a static grid. But it's just so silly. We can't have any damage at all or this thing will just fall apart. Oh, okay. So now that the bison is across back onto this side I know I can get the bison over to the other side just normally so we'll just go park it over here and we'll we'll separate out our our rovers here so the bison will go and it'll be parked there and it'll be safe good bison stay uh, I'm gonna make sure you're yep those are all off good good thing now we're going to take the Mastodon and go across. Because if this crashes, I don't want it to take the bison with it. I want to be able to then salvage the bison and then just go, well, that was silly, and continue on. <laughs> continue on. Ah. So. Uh, that. Ah, oh, no, that's the lock. Uh, that and that. Yeah, okay, now it's closing up. Uh, once it gets up to the top, I'll lock it up. But for now... We just need to align ourselves here. And we've already built it pretty much aligned. But we just need to ensure that we actually hit these. Oh god. Oh god, this is frightening. I am like full break right now. Come on. Come on. Do not explode on me. I'm not even giving it any forward. I'm just letting my momentum slowly pull me down the hill. 
Okay, front wheels are on. Here we go. We're, we're, we're betting all the marbles on unwelded grids. Because I can't be bothered to weld all these. That would take too long. I'm, I'm not even pressing forward. I am literally just like there's a slight slope on this thing. I'm just rolling. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, it's working. Oh, God. Okay, a little to the left. A little to the left. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're crossing. We're crossing. Oh, <laughs> 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 yes! Oh! Yeah, victory! We have crossed the canyon! Oh, baby. Oh, baby, okay. <laughs> uh, we're a bit on an angle here, but whatever. <laughs> Dear God. Um, I'm tempted to drive this to a slightly better spot that I can then... Yeah, let's, let's let's see. How's the terrain behind us? It's okay enough to pick up the bison. We can pick up the bison here. Uh, hinge that down. And now all I have to do is just run back for the bison, which is easy peasy. I'll just let that hinge down and I will get the bison. Be right back. And now, let's do this crossing in first person without my HUD, because this is going to look cool. So we're, all we're going to want to do is just align ourselves up with the center block here, and we should be good. Boom, boom, we're on the, we're on the bridge, and we're driving across. And there's the Mastodon waiting for us with the hangar bay open. <laughs> this is a fun little piece of uh, engineering. I mean, it's a basic thing. I basically just made a slab of blocks. But, it was still fun. And I know what you're saying. Ah, oh, you wanted to have like an extendo auto bridge thingy that's attached to, attaches to the, the, the Mastodon. And I agree that would have been amazing. However, you got to think of the logistics of that. I have to have enough blocks that it would cross that entire thing. Now, what I would have to do more than likely is do some sort of nested piston design that uh, is essentially doing what I'm doing on the the back here with these uh, sliding uh, catwalks how they're sliding over each other, that is more than likely what you have to do. Because you couldn't have full blocks. You couldn't have literally that entire bridge there. Oh god, this is on an angle. This is really on an angle here. I wonder if pushing this into the ground will cause the everything to sort of strain out a bit. Let's say, can I get up that is a very good question. Let's go over to this side of it. Bump up against it. And with a little bit of power, I think I might be able to. It's not the m most uh, comfortable way to load this thing, but it gets the job done. There we go. Don't want to drive back too quickly or else I'll bash my connectors and and break them. I did that one too many times while testing this. Like building this uh, 
building prototypes in creative when I was doing my uh, testing stream and such. And then backing them up too quickly and then busting them up. That should be good. Right there. Yep. We're locked in. Or at least we can lock, so we will lock. And we'll turn off all those programs. I have to I have to reset the driver's assist and stuff like that. But I can do that in the future. That and that. Bring the tailgate back up. And park you away. Oh, that system was working just flawlessly. I should probably um, put a button on that, right? Just a singular one button terminal. Right on this. Oh, I can't put it on the side of the thing itself. I can put it right here. Just a little one button terminal. And this guy will be. This is hangar dock. And the setup for this will be hangar dock uh, reverse. So then put him away. Boop. Boop. There we go. Easy peasy. Another example of the the ship adjusting based on my needs. Hinge will hinge lock and off we go again. Ooh, towards some silicon. <gasps> silver! Although I already have all the silver I need to make my medical components, so I don't really need much more. Silicon, silicon. And now, I needed to make for the what the gap of Rohan or whatever the hell I'm gonna call that. It's just over the right side of that mountain there, so I'm missing the main peak. But we're getting over the side of it, and I should have. Oh, I'm dragging a tree along with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, eh, it works out. Eh, this is drivable terrain. Let's go. Oh god, the camera's flopping in and out because I still don't have everything all uh, built up yet. Oh, this thing, it doesn't feel like driving a rover. Its turn radius and such is so large. It feels like I'm navigating a boat almost. But, let's work now. Oh, come on. Yeah, there's people saying I should probably add like a. Uh, a thruster or two onto this thing to give it a little bit of extra oomph when going forward so that way when I want to say get up a, a cliff or a, a slope like I'm doing now and I need that extra forward oomph I have it available now the question is which side was that was that was that that one there or that ridge there that I was gonna drive up and over. I think that ridge is straight in front of me, right? I think that looks like the correct one. Yeah. Which, yeah, probably that would work. Just a couple atmospheric engines pointing backwards, be able to toggle them on and off here, just set them at 100% override. So when I needed the engine power, I could just turn them on and get myself going up a, a hill even faster you know considering this thing is like 600,000 kilos 650,000 kilos you know, that's pretty hefty it's a lot of weight on this thing as I mark another iron deposit uh, can I clear this here without bottoming out and also look at those wheels Bin and they're not touching the ground. I already had my, um, yeah, see, right here. Too much of an angle. Too many wheels are off the ground and spinning.
So I gotta back off. And we'll reset back this direction a little bit. And then we'll go up the hill. And now we'll straighten out. And we un unveiled that silicon. And now we can go up for go for the hill. Uh, I want to keep just going straight up the hill. I'm not going to start for the silicon. I'm going to use my momentum. Come on, you big rover. Come on, Mastodon. You can do it. We got only nine meters a second. Which doesn't seem like much, but remember that like a hundred kilometers an hour is like 28 meters per second. So we're still going like what? 60 kph right now? Which isn't slow. Wait, 28, so then half of that would be 14. 14 is 50 kph. Yeah, so we're going 45 kph right now. So that's not bad. We're getting up and over this. We want to go a little left here. We'll take out another tree, but that's fine. Doesn't seem like we're gonna... Oh! Tree. Went curse smuck. Oh, there goes another one. And another one. That's what you get for being in my way. And now to control our descent. That is probably the scarier bit here because, <laughs> you know, if I start going out of control, then I go off towards the right there. That would be very, very, very frightening. But, hey, there we go. We've made it up and over the pass. And what do we got here? Iron and silicon. That's an easy, uh, easy mark. Moving on. Even more iron. Oh God. Why is there just like infinite ores? It seems. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Pause. There we go more iron and we have made a nice little trail of ore deposits on our way this way but reaching the the summit here I kind of feel like we've we've done uh, we've done a pretty good goal for today we've gotten past the mountain and we're heading down the other side We've gone over the canyon, and now we have to reevaluate our life choices. What direction are we gonna take? Because, oh, oh, whoa, hello. Hello. Parallax Expedition Base Pod? Well, of course, now you know we're going to have to investigate that. Whatever that is. That might mean we have to put on some defenses onto our rover first. But, uh, looking, f looking down there, I wonder if I want to get onto the valley floor now. Um, we'll just grab wherever this... Oh, left it back at the bridge. We'll grab the spectator camera and catch it back up to where we are. And just take a little bit better of a look around, just so I can use this camera a bit better. We we may want to go down and get on the valley floor before going over there. Or we could stay high up, keep the height advantage, and go along the rim around to stay up and not have to climb back out of the, of the valley on the other side. But that is the end of this day. Uh, we're going to have to park up for now. We're also going to have to reevaluate our, our our situation here because we have water. 
thankfully. We have some organics. But something I need to process here is I'm not making any more, more algae because I need gravel, which is such a stupid thing that I actually need gravel. Uh, normally I'm just trying to like throw it away, but I need it right now because I need to make food out of it. So, what I think I need to do is next episode, we need to add in those uh, like that's the best way to call them. There's like a punch drill, essentially. Right off of here, or possibly off of here, whichever one uh, lines up better for the, the piston. We're just going to set up a couple drills off of each side that will then serve as my ability to just drive over an ore deposit, punch in to grab some of it, and then continue driving afterwards. So I don't need to even get out of the rover to do it. I think I need to set that up so that I can just do some random punches in the ground here, get some gravel so that I can continue making food. And while I'm processing that kind of stuff, it might be a good idea to build up some of the food processing on the large grid scale because there are some more aspects of that daily survival uh, needs thing that are only for large grid, as far as I understand. So we'll do that next time. We'll upgrade with the punch drill and get the daily survival needs and get ourselves situated as we travel over to go and find what is up with that expedition base pod. What is that? And we'll probably go along and stay up high here, get onto the ridge line above it, and take a look at it. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. Good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.